Kobe Karp is with me now. He's a local architect, pretty famous one in these parts, Surfside down Miami Beach, works on buildings here, uh, knows exactly how all this is put together. When you see this, as incredible as it is, what, what, what do you think may have happened here? I think that this is a terrible event of multiple issues that came all together. Some of them could have been a structural overload on the roof. Some of it could have because been... Because they were up working on the roof doing that annual inspection, we were told. They were. And if you take all the loads of the material on the roof and you concentrate it in one place, it takes a big load on you. And then you can break a slab. And if a slab breaks as it compounds from one floor to the next, it becomes even a bigger issue. But that wouldn't have happened if there hadn't been some structural degradation along the way, right? That's the issue. And allegedly, as we're finding out, there have been some issues on the structure, on the existing structure. In that building? Over the years. Um, the 40-year certification, there were um, a desire and demands for repair. Um, and also, there is a potential for settlement. Now, this is a typical, typical construction, Shepard. This is nothing new. We do it day in and day out. But for this to happen, this is a very unique a very, very bad experience. It's there. These condos, if you've ever been to Miami, you know, it's one after another after another from the 200s all the way down, and then you go up the west side on the, on the bay. They're just built on sand. Sand. How do you even do that? Very simple. We do auger cast piles. Auger cast. Auger, yeah. So mm -hmm. we don't pound them in. We auger cast them, and they go down deep. And they're friction, so they hold up the buildings, which is a very nice standard construction that we do throughout. And the buildings are concrete, both vertical and horizontal. If I'm living two condos down in another condo built in the early 80s, I'm wondering, is my building OK? How do people know? This is an issue. Um, and hopefully, because this is an event that happened today, it will give us our inspectors. We have very tight inspections. Some here of the tightest Florida. in the country. We do. And hopefully, this will be a lesson that will teach us how to become better like we did after Hurricane Andrew in 1992. That, that's a good point. In hur when Hurricane Andrew struck, they put in an entirely new set of hurricane standards that all of South Florida now has to follow. And the most hurricane resistant buildings in America are right here. Correct. The standards are very high. You wonder if the standards aren't about to change for everybody, if assessments aren't after, about to go out, if, if inspection teams aren't going to be here. And at every beach everywhere, I mean, you can't overlook something like this anywhere. No, this is a serious event. How long is this going to take? And do you have people calling going, is my building OK already? Yes. And look, we all slept very well. Um, but this is an event that scares us. Um, I have friends and I have family in these buildings. And uh, we are hopefully we'll become better out of it. Yeah. Kobe Carr, thank you so much. Thank you for it's your nice time. To see you. Thank, thank you for you. being here. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.